Hi YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with my boxy charm. But uh, before I get into the new month, let me go over the old month. Uh, first off, I had a eyeliner from Vintage by Jessica Leapskin. I did not keep that. It is currently up on my mysubscriptionaddiction.com swap site, actually. But uh, I have heard good things about it. Like, it seems to be really creamy from everybody that I know that has used it. But I just have a lot of eyeliners in black, so I didn't feel the need to keep that. Next was a product that was sadly kind of a bust. This is the Seraphine Botanics Sugar and Lemon Moisturizing Lip Buffer. Uh, this is not enough scrub for me. This is more oil than scrub. So it definitely does moisturize, but it doesn't really exfoliate enough for me. But I'll use it up. I'll use it up, but that is not something I would seek out. Next were these crown brushes. But uh, I can't find the little one right now, but I've been using it as kind of like to set primer on my lid. This one was suggested for contour. I did not like it for contour, but I do like it for highlight, so it's fine for that. This one I can't find a damn use for, so I don't think I'm going to hang on to it. It was suggested for like setting powder, and I tried that a couple of times, but every time I just did not like it. Like it, I think it's kind of made for maybe packing on bake to like bake your under eyes, and I don't do that. So this is just not my style of brush. Two things that did work really well for me though <laughs> was this Cover FX Shimmer Veil in the shade Amethyst. I was able to wear this on my eyes and it actually like stayed. It did fade a little bit, but I think if I go in with a similar colored eyeshadow, it, that would keep it from that little bit of fading that it did, but it didn't crease or anything like that, and I was so scared it was going to because I have really, really oily eyelids. So that was good. And this actually ended up working out really well for me too. This is the Naked Cosmetics Holographic Highlighter Collection. Um, you can probably see my brush marks in there, maybe, if the packaging isn't blinding you, but I did use this quite a bit. Uh, I went a little overload on it one day and had like green horseshoes around my face that I saw in the sunlight. My husband's like, you have like green half moons. Is that on purpose? And I look at the mirror. No, <laughs> I need a blend. <laughs> so yeah, be careful with it. It's a little more pigmented than I was expecting because when I swatched them, they were fairly light. But when you go in with the brush, you can easily pack it on a little too much. My dog's digging on something currently. But uh, it's good quality, and if you like this kind of highlight, I would suggest it. It is really nice. I know most people are over the holographic trend, and I am certainly not over it in any sense. I do still like to wear it, but I can't imagine how many more of these I would need. I have this, I have the Anastasia Moonchild palette, and I have the Aurora palette that I found at a TJ Maxx recently. So. Between those three and a couple of singles that I have that don't quite match what I have in here, I'm set. So I don't need any more, but I mean, I don't need any of them, but you know what I mean. I'm not sure how many more shades that are out there that I can necessarily put on my face. Anyways, out with the old and with the new. First off, we have these Vintage Cosmetics Smoky Eye Brush Set. Now I mentioned this in my Ipsy video as well, but I'm a little bit on brush overload right now because every month for the past couple of months, both boxes have sent me some kind of brush. I mean, I kind of get it. When they send out, say, an eyeshadow palette, they send eyeshadow brushes. When they send out a blush, they send a blush brush and blah, 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 blah. It's just getting to be, I have too many freaking brushes right now. So I will keep these and the brush that I got in my Ipsy bag as long as they're good, but I'm not sure how many more of these brush sets I'm going to be hanging on to. They do look really nice. It says step one for the money, step two for the shadow, and step three, girl, go, go, girl, go. So I'm thinking this one is to pack shadow on, this kind of angled one is for blending, and this kind of shorter one is to get like under the lash line like I did today with a different look. So they definitely look nice and the sayings on them are really cute. So I'm not mad at them. I'm just like, I have so many brushes guys, send me something else. I know y'all send out different stuff. But uh, next is a blush. And this is really cute packaging. This is from Pretty Vulgar. They made a splash about five or six months ago, I think, 
when they debuted because everybody was like, look at all the packaging, it's all so cute. And then you never heard anything from them again. You can get them at Sephora. So this is the Make Them Blush blush and Hush Blush. I know there was like a hot pink one that you could get as well. I got the more neutral one. I would not have been mad to get either one of them. That's pretty dang pigmented right there. So I will have to be a little bit careful with it. But uh, like I said, we will try that out and see how it is. Let's see. Um, I have a mascara. This is something they don't send out too often, actually. This is the Butter London Double, De Double Decker Lashes Mascara. So I'd like the Double Decker Bush. Bus. I can't speak tonight. 200% thicker lashes, 314% increase in lash curl. That's very specific. Oh, right. Duh. So this is it. It is nice to get a nice big full size mascara. And this is the wand. So we will see how that works. I do like the kind of fluffier natural bristle brushes. So. This might work out for me. Let's see, next we have actually something I'm relieved to get because it's a little bit different. We have some eye gel patches. These are the South Main patches. They reduce puffiness, reduce dark circles, and moisturize the eye area. So I believe there are three in here. Yes, three of them. Here they are right here. And they do have an expiration date on the back, which is always nice. Thoroughly cleanse eye area, leave on for 30 minutes, and make sure to use promptly after opening. For best results, use for three consecutive days. So they sent us three, they want us to use them three days in a row. Fair enough. Like I said, at least that's something different. There's also a code in here for 25% off a $50 purchase at ButterLondon.com. It is Charm25 if you are wanting to use that. And finally, this is like the one thing that I cannot be mad at getting too many of because I love eyeshadows so much. This is an eyeshadow palette and it did come with some bubble wrap around it, which I do appreciate. This is the BoxyCharm in Pure with, this is the Pure palette with BoxyCharm. I don't know if it has a different name though, but they are cruelty free, gluten free, talc free, and vegan friendly. 12 piece eyeshadow palette. I'm, I'm already in love. So I ain't mad at that, but that's the first thing we're gonna swatch, that blue and that purple. And let's get that pink on there too. Let's do this one, okay. Now I have to figure out somewhere to swatch. Oh, that blue is good. You know, sometimes companies will stick like a blue in a palette and then it won't be worth the crap, but this is not the case. I'm, I'm very happy. <laughs> so yeah. Definitely going to be playing with this a lot this next month. So that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.